Well, I think uh, one of the most important things we can do is use the uh, bully pulpit of the president and call out this hatred by name, uh, condemn it as the president has done, and will continue to do any time something like this comes up. Uh, hopefully we don't see another incident like this. Um, it's a horrific and heinous moment and something that should never happen in our country. And um, the president, along with the entire administration, condemn that behavior and racism and bigotry and evil and violence in every form possible. Again, I think the most important thing he's done is to embrace uh, the people of these communities uh, that have been impacted and to condemn this behavior and call it out by name. I think that's um, something that can't be missed or ignored throughout the process. Why has, you know, under this president, several DHS programs to combat white supremacist extremism, uh, anti-Semitism, and violence associated with those types of groups been uh, cut, programs have been defunded, teams disbanded. Why does it keep happening if it's such a problem, and would the president support reforming some of those teams and refunding those programs? Look, there are a number of programs that still exist, both at DHS and in uh, the Department of Justice and other places throughout the administration. Uh, to pretend that the president is anything but uh, outraged or heartbroken over these incidents is a, a total mischaracterization of the president. And again, we're going to look for every way possible to fight back against those things and speak out against it. Sarah, anything that gives you optimism that the president and Nancy Pelosi can work together on infrastructure after the last couple of months? I think they both understand what an important issue that is. Um, I think the willingness that we're seeing from the Democrats to come sit down here at the White House is a good step. Uh, but we'll see what happens. You know, I'm not saying that we have a deal on the table, that this is a, uh, for sure something will take place. But we're certainly hopeful uh, that Democrats are ready to quit playing political games and actually start doing their jobs. And we think that uh, their initiation to come here is a good step towards that.